Greetings from the Study Abroad office. I'm Chris Herschler, Faculty Director of Study Abroad. This video will guide students and faculty through the essential steps involved in planning for study abroad, especially as it relates to academic advising and course selection. Feel free to pause the video whenever you want to read the text on any given slide. Visit our Study Abroad website and select Essential Steps, located on the left side of the page. It will take you to this important document that provides the essential instructions for planning your course of study. Step 1 indicates that students should print out the program information. Go to the country page and locate the program information on the right side of the page. The program information provides details about program costs, deadlines, and more. Please read it thoroughly. It will address many of the questions you have. Next, select the application. This is the application form provided by our partner institution. In this example, the Lorenzo de' Medici, or LDM application, includes a section where you will select courses. Although you're not ready to select courses yet, print this out and begin thinking about what courses you want to take. Next, click on the course offerings. Please note some of the courses that are offered at our partner institutions might not have been approved by Monmouth you will need to refer to our Monmouth equivalency list to make certain that the courses that are offered have been approved by Monmouth. Next, click on the Monmouth equivalency list. It will take you to a document that details the course codes and the title of the courses offered abroad and the Monmouth course codes and the title of the courses. The second course on this list, Cross-Cultural Communication in the Workplace, is equivalent to CO226 at Monmouth. To determine if there are any course types associated with CO226, students can go to Web Advisor. Select Course Descriptions. Enter CO226. CO226 is a CD or Cultural Diversity course type. Many students like to take CD or GU, Global Understanding Course Types, while studying abroad. You can look up other course types by choosing the course type you're searching for, whether it is CD, GU, LIT, HSSV, SSSV, and more. Next, you want to thoroughly review and understand your academic audit. Here, I've used a sample audit that I created to assist health studies majors. Add up all four categories, completed at Monmouth, transfer credits, registered in future, and balance needed. Does that number equal 128? If it's more than 128, then you probably have run out of free electives. Also, notice that students must take at least 58 credit hours at the 200 level or higher. Now, try your best to determine how many free electives you have available. Free electives are gold when it comes to study abroad. Free electives can be thought of as take whatever you want credits. However, many students use free electives to complete prerequisites for graduate school or to complete a minor or certificate. They are used to pursue courses that are of personal or professional interest. To determine free electives available, you can look at the bottom of your audit and take note of courses that did not apply to any of the requirements. Those are the not started, partially completed, or in progress courses. Another way is to add up the credit hours, not started, and partially completed. In this example, they total 33 credit hours. Next, subtract 33 from 60, the balance needed. The result is 27 credit hours of free electives. The curriculum chart shows the number of free electives available in the major. To be certain you know how many free electives you have available, compare the curriculum chart for your major to your academic audit. Go to the bottom of your academic audit and circle courses that you've taken that do not satisfy specific requirements. Add up the credit hours of the courses you've circled and subtract that number from the number of credit hours of free electives available in the major. This slide shows required courses and the prerequisites for each course. I suggest you find out the prerequisites that are required for the courses in your major. Doing this and reviewing the sequence chart will help you to make sure your plan is well thought out. Health Studies majors must take three courses of health electives or H-E-E-L course types. They can also double dip by taking an H-E-E-L course type that is also CD, GU, ISP, and LIT course types. Consider asking your academic advisor if such opportunities exist within your major. 
Further down on your audit, you will see the CD, GU, or language requirement. Again, you might be able to double dip with your major or outside the major requirements. Note to Italy Fall students, LDM requires students to take one Italian language course. So, you might consider taking six credit hours of language at LDM and completing this requirement. Lit and Aesthetics and Creativity are two requirements that many students choose to take abroad. The ISP or Perspectives requirement must be taken at Monmouth, not abroad. This is a sample email that you will find in Essential Steps. You can copy and paste it in an email to me to schedule your advising meeting. You will also need to meet with your academic advisor. Please send them a professional email that contains the details I've outlined. Review the sequence chart and curriculum chart for your major. Also, consider exploring a minor, especially if you have a number of free electives available. Most minors range from 15 to 26 credit hours. Please keep in mind that ultimately each student is responsible for the courses they choose to take. Now I'm going to discuss the e-form and the actual selection of courses. Although it is presented towards the end of this video, you will need to go to the e-form prior to meeting with me or your academic advisor. Go to Web Advisor and select e-form. Log in. Go to MU Group 6 and select your program. Select the courses you want to take. Currently, our Regents program has a drop-down menu. When you select the Regents course, the MU course equivalent appears. All programs will have that feature in the near future. Students must also select alternates. Our partners require the selection of alternates in case it's not possible to register you in one or more of your primary choices. This form will be routed to the Office of the Registrar, OR, the Faculty Director of Study Abroad, FD, the department chair and school dean. After you've met with me and made a final decision about the courses you want to take, save draft and click send. Important note, select save draft as you spend time constructing your schedule slash course selections. You can also enter comments or questions in the box that you think might be helpful for you, me, the study abroad office, and the chair or dean. When you are ready to submit the e-form, the destination you choose is Registrar 6. Follow all of these steps and you'll have an even more wonderful time. I look forward to meeting with you soon.